In this equation, we're asked to solve 6 over 5r plus 3 over 4r equals 1. Uh, there's no multiple terms in the denominator. They're both monomials, so there's nothing to factor. We move on. We need to find the LCD of all the denominators next. So we write 5r and write 4r. So what cancels with a 5? A 5. What cancels with this r? Well, an r. Now we move on to the other fraction. What cancels with a 4? A 4. So I multiply the top by 4. And what cancels with this r? Uh, that r. So we don't need another r in the, in the LCD. We just need the 1. So the LCD is then 5r times 4, which is 20r. So a lot of times students were just writing 5r times 4r, which would be wrong because why do we need a second r if we only have to cancel one r out? This r can be canceled with this r. We don't need an additional r in the numerator. Now we multiply each term of the equation by the LCD. So 6 over 5r times 20r plus 3 over 4r times 20r equals 1. Now the reason we're doing this is that we can clear the fractions. So 5 goes into 20 4 times, r cancels with r. 4 goes into 20 5 times, r cancels with r. Now what we have left is 6 times 4 plus 3 times 5. Oops, I forgot to multiply the right-hand side by 20r as well. Again, we have to multiply each term oops, by the LCD, which is 20r. So we have 6 times 4 plus 3 times 5 equals 1 times 20r. So now it says to FOIL out or distribute if possible. There's not really anything to FOIL out, but we can multiply these guys together. So 6 times 4 is 24 plus 3 times 5 is 15 equals 1 times 20r is 20r. The next step is to multiply out the products and combine like terms. Well, I just did that in the, in the previous page. So I'll just copy it again. But we are asked to combine like terms. So we can combine 24 and 15, which gives us 39 equals 20r. Now the next thing is to solve the resulting linear or quadratic equation. This is a linear equation because the highest power is 1. So how do we solve linear equations? Well, we just isolate the variable and try to get it by itself. So if 39 equals 20r, how do we solve for r? Well, we divide both sides by 20. So we get 39 over 20 equals r. This, as a reminder, is a potential solution. We don't know that it's a solution or not unless we, or until we check our answers in the original equation, which was 6 over 5r plus 3 over 4r equals 1. So if r is equal to, what is it, 39 over 20, then we get an equation 6 over 5 times 39 over 20 plus 3 over 4 times 20, 39 over 20 equals 1. Now 5 goes into 24 times, 4 goes into 25 times. So this so far becomes 6 over 39 over 4 plus 3 over 39 over 5 equals 1. And now we can do keep change flip on both fractions. So that gives us 6 times 4 over 39 plus 3 times 5 over 39 equals 1. And this, again, is something you can stick in your machine. So if we do 6 times 4 divided by 39 plus 3 times 5 divided by 39, we get 1. So we get 1 equals 1, which is a true statement which means that r equals 39 over 20 is a solution to the equation.